Governor Tim Walz says his administration is not to blame for what prosecutors call the biggest pandemic fraud scheme in the country. 48 people have been indicted for fraud at Minnesota nonprofit Feeding Our Future. Our political reporter Theo Keith joining us now from the Capitol. So Theo, who is Walls blaming? Well, Amy, Walls says that there should be an investigation into why a Ramsey County judge ordered state education officials to restart payments to Feeding Our Future in 2021. Walls says that ruling left him speechless. I am highly disappointed. Governor Tim Walls pins blame on Ramsey County Judge John Guthman for allowing alleged fraud to continue at Feeding Our Future. In April 2021, Guthman ordered the state to restart payments to the nonprofit after education officials grew concerned and shut off the money flow. I was speechless. Unbelievable that this ruling would come down. Did not really know what to say. Obviously, we had to honor it, but it was at that point in time I said, we have got to continue to push the federal government and the FBI to do the investigation. Walls says they also tried the U.S. Department of Agriculture with no success. The timeline shows that's when state officials contacted the FBI. A year-long federal investigation led to 48 indictments this week against people connected to Feeding Our Future. Frankly, the word speechless just isn't good enough. Republican governor candidate Scott Jensen, echoing Republicans throughout state government, says Walls should have ordered his education department to appeal Guthman's ruling even as the FBI investigation was starting. I would have said, we've got to get into this right now. We've got to dig into this. I wouldn't wait months or years and then say, gee, I was speechless. There'd be a substantial difference of response. Walls says it's his administration that caught the alleged fraud, but no one would listen until the FBI. It's amazing to me that we find folks in the political realm that are more angry that they can't blame us for everything rather than recognizing we had criminals that we caught. Education officials tell me that they did not appeal the judge's ruling because they had already been held in contempt once for trying to shut feeding our future down, faced mounting legal fees, and they didn't want to tip the alleged fraudsters off to the FBI investigation. As for Judge Guthman, he is out of the office this week, and a spokesman says that he is unable to respond right away to Walls' criticism. Live from the Capitol, Theo Keith, Fox 9.